You can use it to slit open armor cable as well as a regular jacket cable. This little handle is to set the blade cutting direction. At this position, it is set to longitudinal cut. You can see that the blade direction is set straight along the cable's length. Now we set the blade at the ring cut direction. You can see that the blade direction is set at this direction. Now I can ring cut the cable. The first step is to set the blade cutting deep. At the bottom, there is a set groove. You can just press the cable against the blade and then you can see how deep the blade should be set. Use a screwdriver to set it properly. Once that is done, lower the blade to hide it by turning the knob. Then put the cable in the slot, get a snug fit of the cable and lock it in place. After that, turn the knob back until it stops. And now that the blade is cutting into the cable jacket, now let's do the ring cut by rotating the slitter around the cable a few turns. After the ring cut turns the blade handle into longitudinal cut direction, then pull the slitter along the cable to do the longitudinal cut. Now we can use a screwdriver or pilers to pry open the cables. Now let us show how to do a mid-axis slit. First, set the blade to a ring cut position. Put the slitter at the first ring cut location on the cable. Do the first ring cut. Then set the blade to along the total direction. And then pull the slitter along the cable. Stop at the second ring cut location. Then do the second ring cut. Now take the slitter out. Then use a screwdriver or pliers to pry open the cable. This is a successful mine access job. It is that easy. Now let's talk about replacing the blade once it gets dual. First, remove the thumb screw, then completely screw off the bottom assembly. Here is the blade. Here's a set of screw which prevents the blade from rotating inside the holder. Let's loosen this screw first. Then we can use a screwdriver to fully retrieve the blade. Here is the blade assembly. It has a locker washer in place. Don't lose this washer. Once you replace it with a new blade, just put it back in. Screw on the bottom screw. Then rotate the blade to the correct position and tighten the set screw again. Try to raise or lower the height of the blade to make sure the assembly has been done correctly. Then put the whole assembly 